What's up guys, Super Jacob H and in this video in particular I'm going to guide you through one of my 20 plus kill bombs, right? Yes. So basically Ooh. what you could have seen here was a was just a short clip from the end of the game in which I have gotten 21 kills. And I think it was quite fun. It was for a long game though, as you can see it was like 22 I, I think like nearly 22 minutes long and I om I did almost 4k damage so yeah that's probably about it uh, without any further ado let's get straight to the video so uh, before we start please if you like these types of stuff this content and if you'd like me to keep doing these counter videos of high kill games and stuff like that please make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and comment like what kill game would you actually want to see the next and yeah let's get straight to the video so first like what you could have seen is the if you want to get like decent amount of kills in a single game then you definitely want to go for like let's just say high populated area right so we went to land at the ship but the thing was that i've only found sniper right so i just jumped down kill these two guys and after I went through like of boxes, I found wingman, and I definitely kept it right because like if you want to go for like high kill games, the wingman is gonna definitely help you a lot. And as you can see, the second weapon I have is alternator, right? And for me, personally, alternator is one of the worst weapons of all. Okay, if I could choose. If I could like choose between like RE35 and Alternator, I would definitely go for RE45. And in this case, you could have seen that I've always, always switched to Wingman like when I was able to, right? And it's really important to understand the thing. If you want to get high kill games, then at the beginning of the game, you need to do a couple stuff. Find yourself at least one weapon that you're comfortable with. And second, you always, always want to keep listening to your enemies. Because as you could have seen here, I wanted to go through the through the doors like right in front of me. And I wanted to get some more stuff because I didn't want, want to really play with the alternator and stuff like that. But I've heard an enemy on the roof like in front of me. And I could have just literally stopped myself going out and then just killing him pretty easily so when he was there i just went up killed his buddies which is not really the hard way right? because if it's like 1v2 you know that you can always out aim your opponents right and really important thing you should consider when doing this type of stuff is that wingman is really really accurate when shooting like from I just say like short range like 10 to 50 meters it's really accurate even without aiming right so if you're not either running or jumping it has like let's just say it has like 90 to 95 percent accuracy without ADSing something like that I think Shroud was like talking about this thing as well and He's actually, I think he said like it's 90% accurate or something like that. And I think it's really important to like realize because if you realize this type of stuff, you will definitely just know when to use which weapon and how to aim with it properly, right? Because like if it's, if it's like not needed, then why should the ADS, right? And yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's get back to the video. So the positioning. The second most important thing, you never want to go like literally in like in the middle of the ring, right? Because you know that there will be like four to five teams like literally around you. So what you could, could have seen right here is that I just went to try to find a better weapon that was the alternator and I found one. So I was really glad and I could have gotten these skills, which means that I have gotten another free three kills actually and it really helped me like keep the game going i've looted up pretty like let's just say pretty good 
and I just went going like around the ring just watch my movement okay right here I'm not going like to the to the circle I mean like to the middle of the circle but I'm going like around the edge right because there is gonna be definitely at least one or two teams there's gonna be let's just say that's gonna be like wondering about like about the ring itself right so that's what I wanted to achieve. I wanted to get someone off guard, but I didn't quite manage to do it. So I went inside the ring just to try to find more people because I was really bored at this point because it, it has been too long. And uh, right now I've heard gunshots from the, the bunker. So I went straight to it. And the thing is, if you're fighting in like in these types of areas like bunker or I don't know like hydro dam and stuff like that if you're fighting like closed let's just say closed buildings and stuff like that you need to consider many factors right so the third thing that I'm gonna talk to you about and that I'm gonna try to explain you and help you like get no better is positioning because if you can see here, I mean, like, if you can realize that you're not, like, always in, like, super advantageous position, like we are right now, because we've had Caustic and they literally just, they didn't need to go towards us, right? They could have just rotate around the other side. But we would have known that and we would have just gone the other way as well. But the thing is, if you're in a fight like this, you should find yourself a corner, right? And for me, it is the corner with the caustic's barrel, right? Because I can always peek around the corner and I'll not get like, let's just say I will get hit, like definitely, right? Because I'm hitting them, so they must be hitting me as well. But the thing is that if you can just peek one corner, that means that you have good enough cover to actually just back up, reset the fight the same way I did right now. And I've called it to my teammates, like just, I told them to respawn, I mean, revive the second one and then just reset the fight because we need to heal up. And that's exactly what we did, right? So we reset the fight. And the moment we g we've gone back, I only found one guy because the one guy was looting and his team was literally on the other side of the bunker. And if you will ever want to do this, you'll always die. Okay? I mean, like, I don't want to sound like cocky, but looting alone, if you're not like, let's just say, if you're not, not like confident enough, don't do it. Because this can definitely happen. Fourth thing, fourth thing that I want to talk to you about is never ever bail out on your teammates, right? So as you could have seen, I've been running around like pre, let's just say pre solo, right? I have been trying to place my portals just so the team can like catch up with me and just so I have like, let's just say like better movement speed and that I always run like the first. Because, like, I'm not being, like, 300 meters away from my team, but I'm being away from my team, let's just say, it may be, like, what, 200 meters, something like that, all the time. And the reason for this is that your team is mostly going to be looting and not really paying attention to getting kills, right? But that's exactly what you want to do. So... My fifth advice is run solo, but make sure to be able to go back to your team if they will like if they will get shot at, right? Because if you can like revive them or if you can like help them win a fight, even like while returning there, it will definitely change a lot and it will help you get better. Because it will help you a lot improve, improve your gameplay as a whole and win more games with more kills. But you can see right here, 
those two last fights happened that we were literally in the middle of two teams. I mean, like three teams, if you consider us as a team, right? And what I have done was that my team was fighting with the other team and this team wanted to kill my team from behind. So I went behind and just solo killed all of th these guys because I was really, really pissed that they were shooting on us, like shooting at us from behind. I always am like that. So I pretty much just killed them, healed up, get my fav favorite weapon, which is the Mastiff. Come on, come on, come on. And at this point, what I wanted to do was Zeril, I wanted to win. I was full of sweaty mode. Okay, my sweaty mode was activated like 100%. And that's what you should do. If you're like this far into a game, never ever think you can lose the game. You should activate your sweaty mode, stay calm, stay focused, and just go grab your 20 kill bomb or even more. It can be 30 kill bomb. So yeah, yes. that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave the comments down below. Like what should you want? What should you want me to do the next? And yeah, I think. I can only thank you. Please subscribe to the channel if you want more. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. See ya.